I am William Decatur, Jr. I was born in Chicago, Illinois, raised in Ohio. I am 97 years old right now. I was drafted a year out of high school to go to Fort Riley, Kansas in the cavalry. My first assignment, I was a Buffalo soldier. I was assigned to the 9th and 10th Cavalry. That was my forte, training horses. The legacy of the Buffalo soldiers is a legacy of bravery and courage. Since the Revolutionary War, black men have served in America's armed forces. Many saw combat, but most of the time they were relegated to supporting roles. World War II changed all that. What's your occupation? What's your name, Joe? My name is Joe Lewis Barrow. Joe Lewis and Jackie Robinson were Buffalo soldiers. Joe Lewis, he used to have a seat right down at my riding club where we had horses and we used to hang out there and ride horses. Joe Lewis was one of the nicest guys I had ever met. Jackie Robinson was a little bit later. I remembered him, he was a ball player. It was the most difficult times and it was during segregation. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii by air. President Roosevelt has just announced. I was at the movies in Fort Riley, and when the Japanese struck Pearl Harbor, they cut the movie off and told us to report back to your unit double time. Nobody in, nobody out. I heard President Roosevelt declare war the next day. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. And I was shipped to Fort Myer, Virginia. I was attached to the 3rd Cavalry, and I was examined six times to go overseas. But we never did. The chief of staff said, no, that was General Marshall. We buried people at Arlington, veterans. I'm kind of proud. I performed to the satisfaction of the, of the service. These walls mean a lot to me. When I look at these walls, I see a lot of brave men that put their lives on the line. And I was proud to be of service to the United States Army. I think it's great.